So I think we've reached a point where able to note is actually better than able to move. Let me explain. Hi there, it's Paco here. Welcome to a new video. So actually, I've been checking out the last update of able to note. It's uh, I believe 1.3.0. They've also updated able to move to 1.4.1, I think. And honestly. If you're in the verge between an iPad and an able to move, think about it because the newest version of able to note is actually very, very good. So the new addition, which I really love, is that you can type notes. So I have this Arturia Key Step 32 connected to my iPad. And here I have, uh, I just have uh, a pad sound. So it's something like. If you start an empty clip just like so you can type in notes like like a do sort of thing right so when you start playing let's say that i play the, let's say that i play this chord so now all the notes that I played are right here, but only the ones that I played. And if I want to go to the note editor, then I press this and then I, I can see all the notes that you can type in, like the, the full scale from like all the chromatic scale. But if I go back here, I only see the notes that I played and that is very very convenient and a very cool way to draw melodies and drum patterns so let's go now to the drums that i have here so imagine that i want to start a new clip and right right now it's only the hi-hats that are highlighted so if i start if i start typing in here it will be only hi-hats But if I want to type like a kick or something, then I just press it and then it's right here. So same goes for the snare. And here I only see the notes that are currently in the pattern. So that is very convenient. So I don't have to see everything and I can see better what it is that I'm playing. Now also compared to move in able to note you get six tracks and in able to move you get four. In an iPad you can watch movies, you can send emails, you can work. So I mean this application is getting pretty damn good. And actually if you connect external gear it talks very well to it. So for example I'm gonna connect now my launchpad and I'm gonna show you what you can do with it. So I have here my launchpad MK3 Pro. I have here iPad running able to move. I put it now like vertical because it's a little bit easier to, to have them side by side. And I'm gonna start a new set just with random stuff. One functionality that I love in launchpad that you don't really get in able to move or able to note, yes Ableton, think about implementing that is a chords. Here in in launchpad you can you have like a core functionality where you can play like where you can play like chords with only one pad so i'm gonna load up like a pad i actually no i'm gonna load up a lo-fi piano which i really love a cool thing that you can also do here is to So that chord, I can load it here. So I have some chords that I loaded. These are the ones that are here by default. You can also like clear slots and maybe load up a new chord. Very cool. And now 
like I can play that and get it directly in here. So let's just do that. I'm thinking like a laid back. Let's go for that. Now that I have that, I can go into the sequencer and I can play the notes here, I can play them here. I can also sequence. So right now this is playing from Novation Launchpad, it's not playing from Able to Move. But I, I think I'm gonna play manually. So I just want you to see that you have so many possibilities here. You can also play, for example, uh, you can play the notes here, you can play a bass. You so, you know, uh, like you can do pretty much the same you can do in able to no move. But right now with this new update, I think sometimes I will reach for the iPad rather than for able to move. Still, I mean, able to move is a very cool device and I don't think you can actually compare them because the appeal of able to move is that it's actually hardware and that it's like a self-contained package. So for example, in an iPad, if you want to, if right now it looks very clean, very, but I actually have a sound card connected to it I have uh, the Lonvention launch pad, so you know, you already have to carry a dangle. So, able to move is like self contained and that's nice, but more and more I'm realizing that able to note if you, if you make like a, like if you get used to carrying a couple of devices, is actually just as good, if not better, because you have more tracks. You can import directly samples and stuff into the iPad and you can connect other devices such as the Launchpad that increases its functionalities with chords, with sequencers and all that good stuff. Actually, another thing you can do is to connect Able to Move. No one is stopping you from doing that.
So now they are connected. The audio out of able to move is going into the sound card that is going into the iPad, but they are not connected via MIDI because I'm syncing them via Ableton Link, which is actually is actually very very convenient. It goes through the network. It finds devices that are Ableton Link capable, so you don't need cables to sync the clock. So you know, like here right now, we have we can go up to. I'm gonna open a new set. I'm gonna set the tempo up to 127 because 127 is a MIDI number. And I'm gonna 909 kit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is to open is to open an empty project here in able to move and I'm gonna put a four in the floor just like that so what happens if I do so look at this So I just want to show you that, you know, they are very well synced, even though with Ableton Lake there's no delay or anything. So that looks very good. All right. So uh, I think that was fine for this video. I don't know if there's something you want me to talk about, about exactly Ableton Note, Ableton Move, maybe building a jam with both of them. So let me know down in the comments if there is something specific that you would like to see and what you think about it so thank you very much for watching if you haven't already by the way you can subscribe to my channel i put similar content every single friday and that's it thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one bye